SCA, Life Cycles, Minhag of the Week. We've been talking about the Sevet, pretty much talked about everything regarding the Sevet, but so many of you have sent in questions. Some questions I've been able to answer privately because I've dealt with them in previous episodes, and some I think warrant a quick question and answer over here. So we'll go through them. And of course, if anybody has any more questions, please send them in before we move on to the next topic. Is it true that the bar mitzvah boy or the groom says Shema and Kinis on the morning of a Sabbath? What about Vayosha? No, it's not true. Generally, the Hazan does his job. He says Shema, he says Vayosha, he says anything. The only thing you may see sometimes is definitely not given to a groom. Of course, unless he's a Hazan of sorts. But the bar mitzvah boy, many times, if he knows how to read, you know, really loud and clear and properly, so he'll say the Vaidaber, the Kadeshli, when he puts on the Talay and Tefillin, and maybe Shema as well. And that would be on the weekday morning. But on the Shabbat morning, it generally would not happen. Two, I've seen the Rabbi Mabruk, the family, at the pulpit on the day of the Sabbath. Is that our custom? Is that not Torah Sibur? So speeches of any sort were not done in the old country. Speeches um, at the pulpit is an American custom to include it as part of the Shabbat morning prayers but for the rabbi of the synagogue to get up and bestow a blessing in his name and the name of the congregation upon the people that have a happy occasion that's not in Torah Sibur, Torah Sibur meaning a burden on the congregation it's not a burden on the congregation this is part of the congregation and you want to bring that blessing to one and all and it all takes all of a few seconds so it's definitely not problematic. Three, how long do Sabbaths last? Is it longer in the summer than in the winter? How long do Sabbaths last? really depends on the people that are there. Every family has a different dynamic. Every family and friends have different ways of singing and enjoying. And some Sabbaths could be as short as an hour and an hour and a half. And some Sabbaths can go practically all the day long until Manha. Are they longer in the summer than in the winter? The summer's a longer day, so it may last longer. In the summer, are Sabbaths held outdoors? You want to put up a tent, the weather's nice, enjoy yourself, do it outside. How are invitations sent out for Sabbaths? So in the old days, it was word of mouth. You would tell the people that you wanted to invite, or you would send the shamosh around to invite those people to you with the advent of the telephone. People called those people they wanted to invite. Later on, some people actually sent out printed invitations. Um, nowadays, it's done via text. Invite the people however you feel is proper and respectable. The groom stands for all of the aliyot that his uncles, siblings, father, grandfathers get. Does he also stand for his wife's relatives? So, a person is to stand for their father and grandfather, and of course, for older siblings and uncles. Once the person is already married, it is proper respect to do the same for uh, those same members of his wife's family. Yes. Are we permitted to bang on the table in rhythm during Pizmonim and a Sabbath? This is an issue of halakha. There are different opinions on it, and it's not a place for Minhag of the Week. You mentioned the Yahidram is the king of all Pismonium, starting off every Sabbath. Is there a last song that is traditionally sung at every Sabbath? No, there is no last song. There's always a first song. We don't look for an ending. We continue the happiness, and we don't end the happiness. You spoke briefly about drinking at a Sabbath in episode 198. Can you go a little more into which alcoholic beverages were served? Obviously, traditionally, in the Middle East, Ara is served. Scotch is well known throughout the world. Scotch is served as well. Here in America, especially on a very warm day, a nice ice cold beer is served. But if you want to serve gin or vodka or tequila, go right ahead. There's nothing wrong. Um, seeing today at Sebet's Kipot with the Bar Mitzvah kid's name, couple's name, is that something new? Obviously, it's something new. It's not something that ever existed before. A Sebet, as we've said numerous times, was done immediately after Shabbat morning prayers. So you're wearing your kippah, 
for the Shabbat morning prayers, and you go with your head covered as it was directly to the Sevet, whether it's in the home like it traditionally was, or in the banquet hall, uh, the social hall of the synagogue or elsewhere, you're wearing your kippah. So there was no need to make a new kippah. Nowadays, people just like to make more and more things with names on them. Um, what is the origin of the Sebet? Was it like a bachelor party, but in the Middle East? Is it just Syrian or all Sephardic communities? How far back does it go? Nobody can tell you the exact origin of a Sebet, but a Shabbat Hatan, a special Shabbat, as we referred to in earlier episodes, that the Sebet is also known as a Shabbat, and traditionally it's known as a Shabbat. So the Shabbat Hatan, the Sebet for the Hatan, for the groom, is something that is very old. It exists in all Sephardic communities. But as we showed, in the Syrian tradition, between the various special pismonim and the special foods, the maza that we talked about, it was brought to a level much higher and much greater than in other communities, and that's why the Sebet is a key figure in the functions and in the festivities and the merriment of the Syrian community whenever there is a joyous occasion. And therefore you see it as something special, but it was not a bachelor party or anything like that. It was something that existed in all Sephardic communities, and it was raised to a higher level in the Syrian community. What is the proper attire to wear at a Sabbath? It's Shabbat. You're dressed properly for Shabbat. You're coming from Kenes, you dress properly for Kenes, generally suit and tie, and you continue to wear those uh, same clothing. So, in a nutshell, we've covered Sabbaths, we've covered everything pertaining to Sabbaths. Um... Once again, enjoy, mabruk, and about good occasions by everybody.